Not even Bonnie and Clyde or Jesse James come to mind. True professionals steal large quantities of money in a systematic manner, and in order to commit genuinely large-scale crimes, you must be well-organized and well-connected, which implies that companies and politicians are among the most successful robbers in the world. However, one robbery stands out above the rest, and you're probably unaware of it. Every year, over $1 trillion is stolen from underdeveloped nations, often through the use of anonymous shell companies, which are opaque organizations that hide the true owners' identities. Curious to know more? Keep an eye on the screen as we talk about the top five biggest heists in history. Number five, Dunbar Armored Robbery. The theft was mastermind by Alan Pace, a regional safety inspector for Doombar Armored. His work allowed him to inspect the company's armored car depot thoroughly. Pace even devised a method of evading security cameras. He also knew when the guards went on break and when the vault was left unlocked, which happened frequently on Friday nights when large sums of money were being moved. On Friday, September 12, 1997, Pace and five of his old companions slipped into the facility, avoiding or subduing the guards and slipping through the cameras unobserved. Thanks to Alan Pace's understanding, of which bags contain the largest denominations, the crooks were able to load millions of dollars into their van in less than half an hour. He also took care of the recording equipment for the cameras, which he removed. The thieves then began to launder their money invisibly through property purchases and bogus businesses. The crime was uncovered when one of the criminals gave one of the brokers a stack of cash with the original currency straps on it. Despite this, only about $5 million of the cash taken were ever found. Number 4. 300 million yen robbery. The heist was carried out by a man acting as a police officer, according to witnesses. According to their claim, the Nihon Shintaku Ginkgo business planned to give Toshiba's Fuchu manufacturing employees bonus money in December. Because there had been an explosion in the manager's apartment, the vehicle they were traveling in was stopped by a police officer, who informed them that the vehicle could be carrying a bomb that could detonate at any time. The cop looked for a bomb and set up a fake fire, hinting that the car would explode at any minute because it was suspected of possessing one. The terrified drivers got out of the car, and the cop got away with the money, which was worth $817,520 at the time. Despite the fact that police detectives gathered a substantial amount of evidence, none of it was meaningful or relevant to the case. No arrests were made due to the statute of limitations, a lack of evidence, and witnesses. Another unsolved bonus case from the heist was the disappearance of the Tucker Cross. The Tucker Crucifix was recognized as one of the most precious 22 karat gold gems. The Tucker Cross was on its way to be handed to Queen Elizabeth II via roadways. Number 3. Belfast Bank Robbery The largest unsolved bank robbery in the history of the United Kingdom or Europe occurred in December 2004. Armed men masquerading as officers burst into the homes of two Northern Bank officials on a Sunday night, abducted their family members, and forced bank employees to obey them. Employees were told if they did not report to work as usual the next day, their families would be murdered. Fearful of this, they obeyed all of their commands and aided criminals in gaining access to the vault, which housed all of the valuables, including money. They robbed the bank and stole $53 million in today's currency. Despite the fact that one of them was convicted of money laundering, due to a lack of witnesses and evidence, the case remains unsolved. Number 2. Banco Central Burglary at Fortaleza on the night of Saturday, August 27th, at exactly 11.50 p.m., 12 men in gray uniforms broke into one of Sao Paulo's most secure buildings, the Banco Itaú's bank branch on Paulista Avenue, the financial and business center of Brazil's largest metropolis. The robbers dug a tunnel into the bank and took five containers of 50 real notes, weighing about 3.5 tons and valued at $164,755,150, about 71.6 million U.S. dollars at the 2005 exchange rate. These criminals rented an empty house in the heart of Fortaleza, barely two streets from the bank, before the break-in. Up until the end of 2005, only eight of the 25 people suspected of being engaged in the burglary have been apprehended, with our $20 million recovered. Moreover, some members of the gang are suspected of being kidnapped. Luis Fernando Ribeiro, the alleged mastermind of the operation, was assassinated by kidnappers after a ransom was paid. Number 1. The Central Bank of Iraq Robbery Looters had already struck the Central Bank of Iraq, the fortress-like facility containing much of the nation's treasure, including its foreign currency reserves, when American-led forces initially reached Baghdad in early April 2003. This time, the mastermind was none other than Saddam Hussein, the Iraqi dictator. 
He sent three huge trucks to the central bank the day before the Iraq war began in 2003. He also sent a handwritten note to his son Kusei, requesting a withdrawal of approximately $1 billion to keep cash out of the enemy hands. The funds were put into vans and transported away. The majority of the money was recovered in the subsequent raids, but the story doesn't end there. American soldiers who were tasked with counting the illicit treasure took off with hundreds of thousands of dollars for themselves and their family. A total of 35 servicemen were apprehended. From cunning bank thefts to the intricate mafia-backed Lufthansa heist, these are the most astounding heists in recent history. Even if some of these heists are well-known, chances are you've never heard of the offenders. And some were so well-planned that the true criminals may never be found. We hope you enjoyed today's video. What heist in history are you familiar with? Share it in the comments below. Please give us a like and subscribe to our channel, District 10 TV, if you haven't done yet. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.